Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan, the Supreme Commander, issues a royal pardon to a number of inmates convicted in different cases. With the advent of the blessed Eid al-Fitr, happy days, His Majesty the Sultan exchanges cables of greetings with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries. Shabab Oman Ship 2 displays the Sultanate's marine history in Den Helder Festival. Those were the headlines now, the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qabu, Supreme Commander, has issued a royal pardon to a number of inmates convicted in different cases. The number of those honored by the royal pardon were 192 inmates, including 92 from other nationalities. His Majesty the Supreme Commander's royal pardon coincides with the blessed Eid al-Fitr. They were pardoned in consideration of the families of the inmates. With the advent of the blessed Eid al-Fitr, happy days, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has exchanged cables of greetings with their Majesties, Highnesses and Excellencies, the leaders of Arab, Islamic, brotherly and friendly countries. In his cables, His Majesty expressed his utmost greetings along with his best wishes of good health, happiness and long life and to them and the peoples of their countries with welfare and prosperity praying to Allah the Almighty for the return of this and similar occasions on all Muslims with good omen, blessings and well-being. In their cables, the leaders expressed their sincere greetings along with their best wishes to His Majesty, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty, grant him good health, well-being and long life and to achieve under his wise leadership further aspirations of progress and prosperity for his loyal people. They also pray to Allah the Almighty for the return of this occasion on His Majesty, the Omani people, the Arab and Muslim nations with pride and well-being. His Majesty the Sultan has exchanged cables of greetings with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates, his Highness Sheikh, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Amir of State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmad Al Jabir Al Subah, Amir of the State of Kuwait, His Majesty King Abdullah the Second Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, His Majesty King Muhammad the Sixth of Morocco, Their Excellencies. President Baji Qaid Sipsi of Tunisia, President Abdul Aziz Bouteflika of Algeria, President Ismail Omar Gille of Djibouti, Field Marshal Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir, President of Sudan, President Mohammed Abdullah Formago of Somalia, President Dr. Fouad Maasoum of Iraq. President Mahmoud Abbas of the State of Palestine, Chairman of the Executive Committee of the Palestinian Liberation Organization and Chairman of the Palestinian National Authority. President Uthman Ghazali of Comoros. President Faiz Asarraj, Chairman of the Presidential Council of Libya. President Abdel Fattah Sisi of Egypt. President Mohammed Wild Abdel Aziz of Mauritania. His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bulakia of Brunei Dar es Salaam. His Majesty King Mohammed V of Malaysia. President Dr. Ilham Haider Aliyev of Azerbaijan. President Dr. Ashraf Ghani of Afghanistan. President Joko Widodo of Indonesia. President Shaukat Mizriyoyev of Uzbekistan. President Dr. Hassan Rouhani of Iran. President Mamnoon Hussein of Pakistan, President Mohammed Abdul Hamid of Bangladesh, President Gurbanguli Berdi Mohammedov of Turkmenistan, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey, 
President Idris Debi of Chad, President Ali Bongo Ondimba of Gabon, President Adama Baro of Gambia, President Makisal of Senegal, President Imam Ali Rahmanov of Tajikistan, President Al Mazbek Atambayev of the Kyrgyzstan, President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan, President Abdullah Yamin of the Maldives, President Mohamedou Usofo of Niger, President Mohamed Buhari of Nigeria, and President Ibrahim Boubakar Keita of Mali. His Majesty also received cables of greetings on the precious occasion from their Highnesses, Excellencies and the Ministers, Advisors, Honorable Members of the State Council and their Excellencies, the members of the Shura Council and the Secretaries, Omani Ambassadors abroad as well as Ambassadors of the Arab, Islamic and Friendly Countries to the Sultanate. Senior officials of the Arab and Islamic world also, sheikhs, dignitaries and citizens. They expressed their heartfelt greetings on the occasion of Happy Eid al-Fitr, along with their best wishes of good health, well-being, and continuous happiness to His Majesty the Sultan, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and grant him long life, as well as for the return of this, of this and similar occasions on His Majesty with blessings, while dear Oman and its loyal people realize all aspirations under His Majesty's wise leadership. Amid participation of around 260 sailing ships and boats representing 18 countries, Shabab Oman Ship 2 is participating in Sail Den Helder 2017 festival. Upon arrival at Den Helder port in the Netherlands, great audience lined up to welcome the Omani sailing ship to the four-day event. His Highness Sayyid Mohammed bin Harab Al Saeed, the Sultanate's accredited ambassador to Netherlands, said that this participation will strengthen the ties linking the two countries. The festival will include various activities such as the march by crews of the participating ships and the handicraft or industries exhibition. Still to come in our news bulletin. Public iftar gatherings in the Wilaya of Sahar is one of the social traditions during the holy month of Ramadan that strengthen bonds among various segments of the society. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Oman oil price August 2017 delivery rose by 63 cents to reach 44 US dollars and 18 cents. The Oman oil average price July 2017 delivery amounted to 50 dollars and 55 cents. Security and Safety Services Establishment concluded its Ramadan activities for its employees organized during the holy month of Ramadan. It came to bring together the employees and strengthen ties among them. The activities included competitions in different sports such as football, volleyball and tennis, in addition to some cultural activities and competitions. At the conclusion ceremony, winning teams and individuals in various activities were honored. Public iftar gatherings in the Sultanate is one of the social traditions during the holy month of Ramadan in houses, mosques and public majlises in various governorates of the Sultanate. It strengthens bonds among various segments of the society. In the Wilaya of Sahar, citizens and expatriates gather to, together to break their fasting with the sunset of the day. Public iftar gathering is a great chance to teach the young generations about Omani customs and traditions and instill in them the meanings of fasting and given. With the advent of the blessed Eid al-Fitr, various souks in the governorate of Buremi witnessed active purchasing movements. 
The citizens flock to the markets to buy foodstuff, clothes, shoes, gifts, toys and other accessories as part of the preparations for the blessed Eid al-Fitr. Citizens also buy various types of sweets, especially Omani Halwa, as it is considered a symbol for hospitality while being an aspect of the Omani heritage. The citizens expressed their delight for the advent of Eid al-Fitr and availability of wide range of commodities they needed as the shops remain open until late hours of the night. Here are the Ramadan times for tomorrow. Fajr prayers at 3.50.04 a.m. and Maghrib prayers at 7 and 2 minutes p.m. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas overlooking Sea of Oman with chances of scattered rainfall. Rest of the Sultanate will have clear skies. Winds will be north to northeasterly, light to moderate, occasionally active over the coastal areas. And the seas will be moderate to rough with a maximum wave height of 3 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan, the Supreme Commander, issues a royal pardon to a number of inmates convicted in different cases. With the advent of the blessed Eid al-Fitr, happy days, His Majesty the Sultan exchanges cables of greetings with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries. Shabab Oman Ship 2 displays the Sultanate's marine history in Den Helder Festival. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.